Ew! What's up, guys? Hatman back here with another Yerba review. And this time I've got something super special. Um, it's called Dolce Missionerita. Hope I said that right again. But I got this as a sample from a fantastic company called Argent Things. I'll put a link to them down below. I highly, highly recommend them. Great customer service, great products. Um, not only did I get this as a sample, but I ordered a bunch of new gourds and bombillas from them. Guillermo and his team down there are fantastic. Two thumbs up to those guys, five stars. Um, I'll put a, again, I'll put a link down below. You guys can go check it out and order from them. Um, but this, this sample today, um, what's it called? Dolce Missionerita. Again, I hope I said that right. This one is mixed with stevia. And if many of you might have heard of stevia, stevia, the natural sweetener that you can use instead of sugars. Um, and what I got here, I was doing a little bit of research on stevia and I, I'm gonna read you what I got from the Britannica Encyclopedia. It says, stevia, also called sweet leaf or candy leaf, flowering plant in the aster family grown for its sweet tasting leaves. The plant is native to Paraguay. Now this is what gets really cool. Where it has a long history of use by the Guarani people. Nice, huh? Shout out to them. The leaves contain a number of sweet tasting chemicals known as glycosides, which can be used fresh or dried to sweeten beverages or desserts and can be commercially processed into powdered non-caloric sweeteners. So again, all natural in here, no, no preservatives or, or no you know, chemical additives into this one. And by the way, it's got a it's got a pretty cool uh, design on there. It's the lady with the the leaves. So let's go ahead and get into our review. All right. Now I have shared this with people um, in the states. I was on a, a little trip and I shared it with first time mateers. You know. Um, Materos that are just getting into it. And I'll tell you a little bit more after I do my own review about what they said. But let's go ahead and get this into the gourd. All right. God. We're down to the, the end of ours. It's a little bit, uh, it's quite powdery. Not, not bad. It's definitely not like Erva. Um, oh, it's got a great smell. You can, you can smell that stevia. You can smell the sweetness from those leaves already. But let's go ahead and jump in. This is, let me double check, but I want to make sure. Yes, this is an Argentinian mate. Dolce Missionerita. Again, there it is. From Argentina. This is with stevia. Let's give it a taste. Mm. First drink loaded with sweetness. It's, uh, 
I've never had stevia packets before. Like I don't mix it with coffee. I don't mix it with anything else. It's a very unique taste though. Very unique. It's not, it's nothing like a sugar. Mm. That's really good. It's a, it's a powerful taste up front, but it's very smooth. It's powerful, but it's smooth, if that makes sense to anybody. Um, you also get hints of, so that first drink, Stevia was quite powerful. Hints of the, net, the Yerba behind it. Hmm. It smooths out after I wouldn't. I wonder if they have one without Stevia, this company. And I wonder how they prepare theirs, but this is really, this is really good. Wow. I definitely see this one being a, a tea time mate or even as a, a dessert. It's that sweet. I could have this, you know, after I eat a nice steak or something, jump right into this for that sweetness. Um, or pair it with something, something sweet, like a, a bit of cake or some pie. This I think would pair well with those as, as well. It, it must be, it's quite stronger. I can already feel the mate coming in. <laughs> I'm in a better mood. I feel the energy running through me already. The stevia, that first one, as I said, was really powerful. It's still there. It's still got the taste, but it's not as strong as you keep refilling it. Now, if I if I get into my, my dry herb up here, then I might get more of the stevia taste that comes with it. But at the moment, it's kind of mellowing out. Boy, this is good. This may be good as a terere also. Terere, for those who don't know, is just the, the cold mate. Um, kind of like an iced tea, but you just put it in and use cold water with it. Typically, a terere has got some kind of citrus in there or mint or added, added flavors to it. So I could definitely see this one going be great for those hot summer days. Really sweet. Put a little bit of, you know, iced water in on top of it be good too but again for me I like those strong tastes I want to be able to know what I'm drinking taste it enjoy it this is definitely enjoyable it's not it's not a punch in the face kind of drink that's just overpowering like a like those burnt coffee beans or something you guys might have had those it's definitely not like that it's very enjoyable smooth I could definitely drink this every day. Maybe not much. It's this, as I said, I've never had stevia before. I don't know what that would what that would do to me in my stomach, but a little bit uh, after dinner or just a tea time drink is really good. So, yeah. All right, the review of this. Um, Boy, it holds up well. Stevia is really good. I personally, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I like both the, the sweetness, the natural sweetness from the stevia, plus the yerba taste that comes behind it. I'm going to go a 9.2. A 9.2 on this. So that's good. Now, if you want to stick around, I just want to tell you about the first timers that I gave this to, the new Materos. Um, they they were family members that I was sharing this with. And again, I had never had this before. So it was a surprise to all of us. And every person I gave it to couldn't stop drinking it. They They loved the sweetness part, but they also loved the kind of calming effect 
that came with it, they said. Um, an aunt of mine is really into teas, and she was very intrigued by this, so we sat down and had a little chat about that. Um, everybody else, a, a couple of cousins of mine, went through you know a liter of this, killed their own gourd, <laughs> and, and truly enjoyed it. So if you're a first timer, uh, this might be something to look for and try. Again, I said the same thing about the CBSE, the orange one, and the, the Mañanita was quite soft too. But if you're looking for something sweet, if you're unsure about what Yerba Mate is, and you're not into those earthy flavors, this, this is a great starter. A wonderful starter for those getting in. And, you know, those who have been, been in the game a while, fantastic. As I said, if you can find something to pair this with, you're gonna you're gonna really really enjoy this one. So, yeah, I'll just one more time. Dolce Missionerita. There it is. This was a sample pack that I got. Um, if you guys have had it, uh, have some opinions about this or comments or want to know more, drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think or want to say. Thanks, guys. Yeah.